Welcome to Portrait in a Minute. Each portrait has a story behind its creation. However, not all of those stories are knowable, as history often hides the details of the circumstances of the artist and the sitter coming together. However, this is not the case of the National Portrait Gallery's painting of Eudora Welty by Mildred Nungister Wolf. Wolf was a versatile artist who only recently passed away in February of 2009. Her work can be found in several museums and in the Library of Congress. Wolf's biography and retrospective, Mildred Nungister Wolf, published by the University Press of Mississippi in 2005, contains the story of the creation of the National Portrait Gallery's Eudora Welty portrait. Mrs. Wolf writes, In 1988, I asked her, Eudora Welty, if I could come and make a drawing of her in her house. It was very cold that day, the heat was off in her house, and she was sitting in her chair in the living room with her coat on. I didn't take my coat off either. I very carefully made a full-scale drawing in charcoal, took a photograph, and made some color notes. I also used this information to start on the canvas in the studio so Eudora would not have to sit for the portrait. When I was satisfied, I had her come and look. She liked it. I packed it up and sent it with some trepidation to Washington. The National Portrait Gallery Selection Committee sent word back. They loved the composition in the hands and head. If I was willing to make it more somber, they would be happy to reconsider it. When the painting came back, I darkened the color of the coat and, using Eudora's borrowed scarf as a model, carefully painted in its printed pattern, toning down the color at the same time. The committee loved the revised painting and were very pleased that I had been willing to change it. Eudora Welty, our sitter, was born in 1909 in Jackson, Mississippi. She enjoyed great acclaim as a writer, and her photography from her service in the Works Progress Administration has been exhibited in many museums. Her short stories are widely anthologized, and her novel, The Optimist's Daughter, received the Pulitzer Prize in 1973. Miss Welty's 1941 novel, The Robber Bridegroom, was adapted into a Broadway musical in 1976 and earned eight Drama Desk Awards. Eudora Welty died on July 23, 2001, in the town of her birth, Jackson, Mississippi. This has been Portrait in a Minute.